the journey of the Nintendo Switch over the last couple years has been a pretty eventful one. Lots of ups and downs and crazy turns, loads of hype, and a lot of genuine surprise. Honestly, I did not expect this thing to go over so well and, and just be such a successful piece of hardware for Nintendo. It really is astonishing. But uh, yesterday, uh, at least yesterday is the time of recording this, Nintendo had their financial briefing. Uh, they announced tons of stuff. Most importantly, though, um, Switch sale numbers. They, they finally came out and, and updated that number, and the new official total is uh, 34 million, uh, 34.74 million, which is very, very impressive for this thing. This thing is selling very fast. And the craziest part, honestly, is that it's not slowing down. They didn't quite hit their goal for the year, coming just shy of their uh, of their goal just by a few hundred thousand. But it is selling well enough to where they are still retaining that 18 million estimate for next year. Um, and that's kind of crazy when you think about it for a lot of reasons, but most importantly for the reason we're going to discuss today, that the Switch is selling faster than the PS4 did at launch, and is actually on track to overtake the Xbox One by next year. So the official Xbox One numbers are not out because they don't announce sales numbers anymore. Um, after the PS4 dropped and the Xbox One was trailing far behind it, they decided not to you know, announce those numbers anymore. But based off of information, we can kind of estimate roughly where the uh, Xbox One is in sales. Uh, recent estimations put it anywhere from 40 to 45 million units. Um, so I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt, say that it's at 35, uh, excuse me, 45 million. Um, and then that would mean the Switch is a 10 million, roughly, units behind it in sales. Well, <laughs> the Xbox One is not selling over 10 million per year. Um, whereas the Nintendo Switch is estimating that they will sell close to 20 million next year. So, if we put our math glasses and math goggles on here, you know, gotta get our, you know, doctor's trench coats and everything settled. If we do the math, <laughs> that means that the Switch could outsell the Xbox One by the end of this year. If not the end of this year, the beginning of next year for sure. And that is crazy for a handheld that has been out for two years versus the world's most powerful console that has been out. Well, technically the Xbox One X has only been out for about, you know, a year less than the Switch or about six months less than the Switch. But the Xbox One as a whole has been on the market for coming on five years. So that is... that is good. Honestly... The Xbox One is not selling poorly, it is selling poorly in comparison to its competitors, um, but it is not selling poorly, they are still making money and things like that, and the Xbox One sales are, are fine. It's not gonna, you know, win the generation as far as sales numbers are concerned, but it is not gonna go down as a huge financial flop and failure like the Wii U or, you know, other, other systems that have failed. So, the Xbox One is not a Wii U level failure. You know, so it's nothing to worry about. I'm just comparing, you know, comparing the, how well the Switch is doing with this, uh, you know, using the Xbox One as an example. I, I think it's very impressive. Um, you know, you get a lot of talk about power and, and you know, third-party support and things like that and how important these things are, but you can really see how a strong, strong first-party lineup coupled with interesting features and you know things to really do with the system those can move systems just as well if not better than just having straight up power i mean the nintendo switch is still getting lots of third party support of course it is getting the worst versions of all these games but it is still getting a lot of these games you can still functionally play mortal kombat 11 on your nintendo switch at the same frame rate you know looking you know, decent. It doesn't look amazing, but it looks fine, uh, especially for what the hardware it's running on. It does look presentable. Um, and you can play all these great games, you know, on the go. All the Final Fantasy titles just released on it. You know, all like all this stuff is coming to the Switch, and it's getting a very good third party, you know, lineup as well as Nintendo's amazing flagship first party support, which is still 
amazing. The Nintendo Switch is killing it. Maybe a little bit of a rough start to 2019, but by the end of 2019 here, a lot of these games that are coming out starting like next month, month after, are just going to be ridiculous. And uh, the Nintendo Switch shows no sign of slowing down. This thing is just gaining momentum and just plowing through the industry, and it's um, quite it's quite astonishing to see. The real question lies in how how long is the Switch going to last? How, how What's the lifespan looking like on this thing? Because the PlayStation 5 and next generation Xbox are around the corner. Um, that's going to shake up the third party support, of course, a lot, because once those games are going to be out in the market, Switch isn't really going to be able to handle that. <laughs> so... It's going to go back to the first party support. It's going to be a re, you know, uh, just just like how it was with the Wii U era towards the end, where you were really not getting much third party support. It was just Nintendo keeping that thing alive. So, uh, what is that going to look like? I honestly don't know. I can't say for sure until we get there, which, if, I mean, of course, but, you know, I'm no fortune, you know, fortune teller. I can't see the future, but. You know, it is definitely just interesting to think about here. The, the Nintendo Switch is still gaining momentum and gaining speed, and it's plowing forward ahead and breaking records, and still like the one of the best-selling consoles ever. Just it just passed the um, Nintendo 64, even so, like lots of people have this thing, and it's breaking tons of sales records. Super Smash Brothers Ultimate is the best-selling fighting game of all time. You know, Odyssey and Zelda and all these games just keep selling. A lot of units they just keep moving copies of those games and it's amazing to see the attachment rate on the switch just so many people are buying these games and the switch community is a real real passionate bunch of people trust me I know and it's, it's just great to see that they're finally being able to thrive and I am very happy for them I'm just very curious as to what the future brings honestly are they going to do those rumored, you know, hardware enhancements? You know, the Switch Pro, for example, you know, to, to start a, to sort of handle some of these, you know, more demanding games. That would be very interesting. They did the similar thing with the 3DS and they even had some exclusive, you know, new 3DS titles. Are they going to do that with the Switch or are they going to drop this after a couple years and make a new, more powerful system, you know, maybe a more dedicated console system? I mean, who really knows at this point? So I'm just, I just think it's going to be interesting to see where this all goes, but man, is it a good time to be a Switch owner, that's all I got to say. So let me know what you guys' uh, thoughts to all this is down below here. I just think it's real interesting to talk about this because the Switch is just breaking through records. It's, it's nuts. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay classy.